As we've seen in, in the uh, materials at the moment, uh, Europe and banks still also very much in focus. Europe and the banks in focus as Moody's looks to warn that it may downgrade some of the European banks as well as the global bank. In for perhaps three notches worth of downgrades are the likes of Credit Suisse, Morgan Stanley as well as UBS. And for a possible two notch downgrade, we've got the likes of the rest of pretty much the global banks. We've got Macquarie, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, as well as Citigroup. So that's very much in focus. I mean, he's really citing three key reasons behind that. First of all, is the prolonged and the adverse effect that the euro uh, debt crisis is having. Second is the deterioration in the, in the credit worthiness of the euro area members. And third are the long term implications for capital markets as well. So the bank's very much in focus globally, and we have seen a pretty bad reaction to I guess the focus back on Greece and the European debt crisis in fact if we have a look at the euro versus the US currency I'll just bring up a 30-day chart and what you'll notice is that what we've seen in today's session is a breach of this key technical level so under that key technical level so some more possible weakness in the euro versus the US currency and of course as euro weakens the flip side of that is that the US dollar strengthens and that of course is bad news for commodity prices we've already seen the uh, commodity prices falling overnight on the London's metals exchange it looks like another fall on the basis of the concerns around uh, the euro growth story as well as the strengthening in the US dollar so not surprising to see the likes of BHP Rio losing around about 2.2 2.3 percent in fact every sector on the market trading lower the best sector though was property which only managed a loss of 0.3 percent but high volumes 5.6 billion dollars traded and that's because it was equity derivatives expiry for February so we did see a number of warrants contracts being uh, being uh, expiring and if we have a look at, at the technicals the 50-day moving average also standing at 4200 points the market of course liking round numbers and today we broke through 4200 points so if we have a look at the 30-day chart for the Australian market this is what it looks like we've been above it for most of the month but unfortunately today falling below 4200 and cracking that mark Rick, what, uh, one of the, the big ones today, I suppose, in, in regards particularly to the banks, Westpac's uh, numbers came out Q1 and pad about $1.4 billion, slightly soft. Interesting to note, it's their market sort of uh, income operations in particular acted as a bit of a weight on the result. No real surprises here, although the result did come in slightly below expectations. The cash, cash profit coming in at one5 billion dollars as uh, Commonwealth Bank's update yesterday the market's income really tumbling quite severely but the market really having no patience for any results not coming at least in line with expectations and we saw Westpac shares being punished quite hard uh, if we have a look at Westpac down by 3.5 percent and there were a couple of big stocks to report today the two big ones were uh, Westpac which was down by three and a half percent and the other one was West Farmers which was down by 2.6 percent so considering that we saw two of the largest cap companies reporting today with such a downward movement not surprising to see the Australian share market underperforming the rest of the region